Hello and welcome to Gears Tactics. So this is a brand new game, just came out today. I think the intention here is we're going to have a quick look through some of the settings and benchmark and hopefully get a good first impressions. So if you look at the first menu, this feature, I've just actually used this benchmark feature and it just runs a simulation gameplay of the general game. Gives you a lot of detail actually, quite surprised how much detail it gives you on frame rates based off what settings you've picked in this general menu, textures, environment. So it actually got quite a lot of settings here for how you want to play. <coughs> but I'm going to leave that and we're going to create a new game. <coughs> uh, so this is basically an XCOM style game with a few tweaks. I must admit, looking at some of this looks a lot better graphics. Uh, ah, since I've played both the XCOM, I'll just pick an intermediate for this. Okay, WSD, Q and E, so pretty much like XCOM controls. I mean, looking at this, this is pretty nice. I'm, obviously, I'm pretty sure this is the Unreal Engine, as with everything that they make. Uh, I should point out I'm running on just high settings for most of this, so if I go in here, I'll just show you. Yeah, so high with some ultra settings in there. Environment, world detail, high, high. So obviously there is a setting above what I'm running at. <coughs> this is just what I got set to from the uh, the benchmarking on the main menu. <coughs> Mouse one, left click, and left click again, and he moves it to cover. Okay, so he moves in just like we're in the actual first person shooter games, which is quite interesting. <coughs> okay, so you can press one or mouse over them. Not like this. This is useful. Uh, I don't see it. oh yeah, 100% hit chance. That's good. And 55% crit chance. <coughs> okay, he's kind of rushing me a little bit. Alright. <laughs> I guess he's the stubborn one on this. Great, so you can attack twice. Uh, I'm not sure where it tells you how many points you have, unless this is it here. I think this must be the actual amount of movements you've got. Uh, if I say press P, passive skills. Oh, that's good. So every time he kills an enemy, he gets 4% health to everyone. Okay. <coughs> okay, I'll shoot this guy. <coughs> yeah, I missed. <laughs> Shoot for me a new location. Oh yeah, okay, yes. You can kinda see the little white line there. I don't know if there's a way to make that a bit more obvious. It's not very easy to see. I do like this kind of more freedom of movement, so you can see how many action points it takes. And you can move anywhere so it's not like a grid system anymore. <coughs> okay, so let's up over here. That's all. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so this is just your simplified version of it. If you press R, it tells you your hit calculation, your base hit, your base crit and flanking. Oh, that's good. So you can see what's causing the problem rather than just being told this is a problem. Critical hit. <clears throat> I mean, this looks incredible, to be fair. I mean, compared to the XCOM, this was a kind of... I didn't expect this much. I, don't, I didn't even hear about this until about few weeks ago. Okay, three actions. Moving long distance. Yeah. So that's yeah, so these are the actual movement points you've got. <coughs> New abilities. Chainsaw. Oh. I mean I've gotta use this, haven't I? <coughs> I mean, there's no way I can't use that ability, that's too cool. Oh, so it's actually exactly like the. Works exactly the same way. That's pretty good. So, uh, oh, so I can still move. That's good. <coughs> so it only costs one point. Hmm. Interesting. I'll shoot this. Critical hit. Nice. What's he got? 
bayonet charge. Oh, so it's actually got the exact same uh, skills as you do in the original first person shooter games. That's pretty interesting. If I just run it up. <laughs> Nice. Sid Rip Rip. I wonder if there's going to be any actual characters. I mean, I think this game's set in. I think it's 12 years before the first Gears of War, so I don't know if I'll actually ever see any of the uh, original cast in this game, but. It would be good if we did. Uh, I guess I'll just move here. <clears throat> oh, good scene. <laughs> I like this kind of like Borderlands thing where someone appears and you get a little pop up. I used to hate these little things. Wretches. I hope they haven't got those little exploding things, honestly. I hate those little exploding bombs. The tickers. So left click to start movement. Okay. <clears throat> Overwatch. Oh, good. It's the same kind of principle. I'm assuming it takes ammo. <clears throat> oh, nice. I like this, that you can adjust the width and the, basically the distance and the size of the cone. That's quite nice. Yeah, so I guess I'll do what it says for now. And then I'll move you here. <clears throat> Obviously, it's just the tutorial, but. Uh, it's time me to just do this. Okay. Oh, you missed that one. <laughs> Not great. <clears throat> oh, okay, so it just gives you a little bit of a detail down here, too. Disabling shot. It's telling me to click a pistol. Ah, okay, so it depends on the weapon that you've got equipped, which is what your skill is. Obviously, being a charge was with this retro lancer. Change it to a snub pistol. I have disabling shot. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so you just pick one. <laughs> that interrupts. Okay. That takes one action. Why couldn't I have just shot him with this? I suppose maybe it's difficult to reach him. So that means I can move here, and then I can shoot this guy, I assume, from here. Yeah, I've been told that this has a lot more people in this one. I mean, enemies, rather. So you end up with a lot more enemies in the later stages. Obviously, this is just a basic tutorial, but... I imagine this is going to escalate pretty quickly in the real game. Executions. Oh, okay. Oh, to all other friendly units. Oh, so if you execute, you get loads more... Oh, yes, he's downed. Okay. And then this comes available. What's that? Second wind. The unit revives and gets one action. Okay. Chainsaw. Oh, obviously, I've got to do this, so it's not. <coughs> it goes yellow. Okay. So it goes yellow when you can actually do it. <coughs> it's a. Uh, Bit, bit strange action, but okay. <laughs> oh, what's his passive skill actually? Regeneration. Oh wow, so he heals ten percent. That's good. Eighty-four uh, percent. Yeah, I'll take it. <clears throat> Out of ammo. Aye, looks like he's downed as well. Oh, here come the troops. <laughs> I must admit, I'm really liking the way this looks right now. It's a big difference from the classic kind of comic book style that you used to. <clears throat> yeah, let's reload. Tab. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, so it's giving, is it just free movement now? Can I just do what I want? I mean, I'll go and execute this guy, get some more movement points. And he kind of, oh, so he automatically takes over that guy's position. That's interesting. And then I could, I could move here. I'll move a bit further back. Since it says this, these two must survive, so I'll, I'll play conservatively for now. Oops, did not mean to do that. Yeah, so I'll move this guy here. <clears throat> I guess I'll just try this overwatch. Let's see. No, out of ammo. <laughs> Not great. Oh. <laughs> wow, that actually does a lot of damage for a little grunt. I did not expect that. <clears throat> guess if I, that's what I said, it was... If you click tab... Okay, yes, the tab cycles. Straightforward. Shoot this guy. I can't believe how much damage that guy dealt. <clears throat> right, I can't remember what he was on before. It looked like he did 150 damage or something with just one hit. How much do you heal in this game then? I mean, I was saying reload. I suppose I should reload. I can't swap whenever I want. <clears throat> oh, so it reloads all of your gear as well, not just the weapon you actually have selected. So that's nice. I guess this means I can kind of just pick whoever I want. <clears throat> I can move this guy here. So he's a vanguard. Oh, and he's a support. That's strange that the main character is a support character. You don't usually see that very often, usually. He's kind of like a badass shotgun warrior hero, but... Nah. Excuse the cough. It's getting a bit cool over here. Okay, so uh, it's an enemy turn, so I don't know if they take turns while you're controlling, even if you can't see them. I don't know if they're still moving. <clears throat> Keep, I've been playing the XCOM, the new XCOM game, so I'm used to right clicking, but it's not right click anymore. Wants me to move there. That seems a bit dangerous considering there's loads of things here. Uh, I'm assuming I can just shoot something here. 67%, that's very low considering it's right in front of me. I'm hoping this doesn't have the same XCOM rules where it's 95% and you almost always miss it. I still don't understand that. I'm going to be 95% chance to hit and still miss. <clears throat> I don't know if it's just distance related. It does seem like that, because I can't see this guy because he's behind the wall. Ah, let's try and shoot him anyway. There we go. <clears throat> and... guess I'll just reload. Don't need to move. And... Let's just move over here. So I can get... Hopefully get a good sight. Yeah, 80%. That should be it. There we go. <clears throat> Battlefield cleared. Yeah, so this isn't like Chimera Squad where you kind of have a breaching turn. So you clear the enemies and then it skips you to the next phase. It's kind of like the old, the classic XCOM 1 and 2, which is nice. Here comes handsome. Oh my god, these things, it's just hundreds of them. <clears throat> oh, this is slowing me down. Lovely. Wish I had a grenade. Oh, I do. Perfect. That was good timing. Um, so I have to actually just select something, does it? Oh no. Throw a grenade. Oh, nice. Yeah, go for it. Man, I used to love those frag grenades. Oh, yeah, plant grenade. Oh, that's good, seeing so even plant grenades like mines. That's really that's really interesting, actually. Um, okay, so I guess I'll do a disabling shot. 
48%. Man, that's really low. What's it like with this? 12%. Wow. Well, that's why I used the pistol, I guess, because it's got a bit of a better aim. And. Oh, see, yeah, so if you cross it. Uh, okay, I'll try here, see, see if he is any better. Uh, let's disable it. Oh, there, oh, yeah, so it really takes the terrain into account. So, obviously, I've just moved slightly out of the angle. And that angle is kind of telling me I'm clear. <clears throat> That's good to know. How do I know if it's blocked? I mean, I can't shoot him there because he's hiding. If I, sh if I move here, I've got a much better chance. Okay. So, if I move here... I should be able to shoot this guy right around the corner. Yeah, 90%. No chance. Huh. I mean, it still feels so good to be back in the Gears world. I played so much of Gears 2 and 3. It was unbelievable. I probably had about f four, 500 hours of online ga game time with that. <laughs> and that was pure game time as well. It didn't used to count the time you were just sitting in menus or in the campaign. That was just online game mode. Let's see if I can. 30%. Okay. Oh, so I can't use that anymore. Ah, oh, so shooting them doesn't actually get rid of that. That's a bit, uh, bit worrying. <clears throat> okay. Ah, uh, oh, so I can still shoot him from here, so it doesn't matter. <clears throat> oh. Oh, so because he's overwatched. Oh, that's good to know. So if he's an Overwatch and you shoot, as soon as you pop your head out, he shoots you. Guess it makes sense. <clears throat> hmm. I think in this situation where there's no enemies, it should just let you have <laughs> unlimited movement, really. I don't see the point in having turns when it's just going to do this. <laughs> Looks like it's a long walk to the vehicle, too. <clears throat> I wonder what this is. Oh. He's asking you shall receive. After the mission. Okay, so you collect it and then you get upgrades after the mission if you can keep it. That's good. That's quite interesting, that. Okay, so I think we'll just get to this, and then this is probably going to be the last mission for this episode, and then hopefully if everyone likes this, I might probably make a new edition. I think I'm not going to keep playing this anyway, so I'll probably record it regardless, but I don't know if I'll do a kind of let's be where I do an episode after an episode, or if I'll do it a bit more sparingly. Maybe one in the early game, one mid, one maybe late game. <laughs> I'm not sure how long this game is, but we'll see. <clears throat> yeah, let's pick this up. Uh, have I picked that up? <laughs> I'm not actually sure if I've picked that up. Okay. Uh, let's just move here for now. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Emergency all's coming. Ah. Oh. oh, so you actually have to, like... Click on the little thing to get it. Okay. <laughs> I keep trying to click on the unit to make it move, but then you have to actually click on the screen somewhere. Uh, let's just move here for now and see if anything happens. Do not like it. Okay. And let's hide right here. So it does have cover as well, the same way the normal one does. That's obviously full cover, half cover. That's good to know. Kind of operates the same way. Uh, Sight behind here. I'm assuming it just depends on how much protection you've got from angles. So they might be able to hit you here on this, but if you're behind a full cover, maybe they can't. Unless they're right at your flank. Uh, <clears throat> let's just do an overwatch just in case. I have a feeling that's going to explode next turn. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I 
can't wait to see the other enemies in this. I feel like they're going to get pretty big pretty fast. Oh, okay, so that's good enough. So it actually operates the same way as it did in the other games. <laughs> if you throw a frag grenade in there, it'll immediately close the hole. That's good. Slightly worried that it doesn't stop spawning enemies, but <laughs> still. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Yeah, so frag grenade it is. Um, probably want to do a disabling shot on this guy so I can move. Oh, so <laughs> I was hoping that wouldn't shoot me if I did that, but I guess it did. Uh, let's frag grenade that. Uh, throw grenade, can I reach it? I don't know if that actually... I don't know if I'm close enough or not. I don't really want to risk it. Maybe I'll just throw it in. Throw it in here somewhere, or eh, don't really want to waste that. Uh, what I'll do is I'll move here so I can get a bit of flank on this guy, and then I'll just shoot this guy. Eh, just do that. <coughs> he didn't get down, but still. Uh, he's got a stim green. Oh, so that's why he's a support character because he has this revived gas grenade. Interesting. Uh, let's do that. And I guess I'll do this too. Yeah, let's hit this guy and stop his overwatch too. <coughs> I'm not, I'm not going to get used to that, am I? 80%, 34%. Those are not the best odds. Um, I'm assuming if I move here. 30% only. Oh. What if I use this? 30%. Uh, well. If I'm going to do that, I may as well just try this. Oh, worked. Huh? Partial hit. Okay. So I destroyed his cover, at least. <clears throat> it's only a grub. That's not too bad. I was expecting one of these full guys to come out every single turn. That would have been terrible. Well, I'm getting railed here. Wow. <laughs> these guys are vicious. <clears throat> oh, so you th there is actually friendly fire. Wow. Alright, well, I'm going to try and throw a grenade in there. Otherwise, this is never going to stop. <clears throat> oh. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, you know, he injured himself at least. Oh, so that actually broke my grenade as well. That's terrible. <clears throat> Alright, well, at least I can kill this guy. And then I guess I can. Yeah, take that chance. Yes, he's down. Looks like this guy's got a rank up. It looks like a chevron. I don't know if he gets more damage. I hope he doesn't. Uh, let's just kill this guy too. Then, you know what? Maybe I'll go down here and execute this guy. <coughs> that should give everyone an extra action. So hopefully I can th maybe throw a grenade. No, six. Is that six turns I have to wait for a grenade? That's terrifying. Can I reach that guy? No, he's too far off range. That would have been handy. Um, I guess I'll just go here. Oh, God. <laughs> I've really messed this up, but... Oh, it looks like it's closed itself. It must only have a certain amount on this. Oh, no. Man, these guys actually hit really hard, and with the overwatch as well, it gets a bit crazy. Yeah, so I can't do that. Can I just... No! Oh, yeah, so I can't just run at them and... Yeah. <laughs> Get rid of them. There we go. That's better. And... I'll move here, and hopefully I can take this guy out. Yeah. Easy enough. Well, I say easy enough. I've probably made that a lot harder than it needed to be, but... Um, 
I wonder, did, so is this just... Oh, so it is healing gas. It doesn't actually just revive, so it does heal. So if I throw this... Hey. Oh, so I've got to wait six. Is that six turns or six action points? Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot to learn on this game still. Generation. Let's go here. And it seems like Overwatch is actually really good to use, so I'm actually just going to use that here, because I'm assuming these are going to rush me anyway, so. And then I can move this guy in here. Yeah, so it just counts his actions as well. It doesn't count. Yeah. Ah, oh, this is actually turns. It's not actually action points either. So it's going to be a while before I get to use any of these grenades again. Maybe it probably wasn't the best idea. Yeah, let's just do that as well. <clears throat> Hopefully they'll rush me and they'll just get shot a bit. There we go. Oh, interrupted. Nice. So at least I got sort of stunned them. Yeah, let's just shoot the pistol since it uses less ammo. 57%. Should hit him. There we go. I'm not too sure about these odds. It does seem to be more likely that you'll hit them than you won't, so. Not that I'm complaining. 14% chance. Uh, for the sake of testing it. <laughs> if it's hits, I'll be very amazed, but yeah, yeah, so it isn't, it isn't like ridiculously weird odds. Let's just do an overwatch. The only thing I'm not sure of is, it, I don't know if it runs out of ammo or if it's... Oh, okay, so it uses all your action points that you have left, so if I do this, I can shoot all three if they move into range. That makes sense, let's do that. No need to move up towards them, they're going to run at me. For some reason, that doesn't really kill them. Which is... Not too sure on how that works, but... Um, well, let's make the most of the ammo. Let's kill this guy first. And then reload. And then... I still don't have disabling... Wow, the cooldowns on these is really long. I mean, eight turns for a disabling shot. <laughs> Considering how many enemies they are, and it seems like they always seem to like using this basic kind of uh, Overwatch ability. I mean, they, they just seem to move in Overwatch. They don't really bother to shoot for some reason. Uh, I guess I have to reload here. I don't want to run at him because he's just going to shoot me to bits, so... He didn't have that either. Uh, that's really strange. 16% chance to hit. He seems like he's really in my view. I mean, maybe it's this, this that's obstructing him. Looks like I can jump over there. So I can move up here. That's good. So you can jump over the terrain instead of running around it, which is nice. <clears throat> yeah, so you give up. He's probably just going to shoot him. Partial hit. Yeah, so this, is, this seems like the terrain seems very, very impactful on this. I mean, that to me seems like it's fairly clear shot. You could just easily clip me head, <laughs> but never mind. I do like how you can you don't you're not fixed to specific characters. Uh, yeah, yeah, sixty seven. That's better. Critical hit as well. Great. That's what I wanted. Then I can just go and run up here and. Yes, it looks like you take over, so if you if you hit someone in the cover, it'll actually push you into cover as well. Yeah, so he, he snapped into that cover that that locust was taking over, so that's nice to know. <coughs> no enemies detected. I don't know how long that'll last. But. Let's, just, let's just take this big air, because I have a bad feeling about this zone. Saying that, 
It didn't seem like anything came at me there, so that's good. Ah, oh, there we go. <clears throat> oh, both promoted. That's good enough. Convoy. Oh, yeah, I got Thrash Ball Cold. Man, I loved that skin. That was like my favourite skin in those games. I used to play Cold Train every single time. Uh, oh, okay, there's the cases. If I claim that common case. Please don't tell me it's a loot box. <laughs> Red will answer damage plus 15. Okay. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll have a quick look around here and then we'll call it a video. So, I guess you just click. <laughs> okay. Seeing so skills and then your weapon. So he's got. A lancet. I mean, anything with a red icon is something you can go in and change. I guess it's got all the stats as well for every weapon. I wonder how many weapons there is in this game because this could get uh, extremely difficult to comp like organize all this. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, Three percent accuracy bonus. Sure. <laughs> um, barrels. Power barrel. I'm not really sure who the main guy is. It's also a bit confusing considering they both have the same face in here. Which is a bit... Considering they're definitely different people. He's definitely got... Hasn't got a bald head and an eye patch, so... Let's do that. I, I guess I'll just give everything to him. I don't know, is his stuff different? Oh, yeah, so it is. So I must have got... A, I don't know if this is common between everything. I don't know if you can unlock it and then you can just equip it to every character. Or if it's a case of you've got to actually... Find it for each specific weapon. Oh, actually, easy way to tell. Yeah, so I haven't got that site. Yeah, so it is an individual weapon, so I just happened to pick up both. There you go. 5% accuracy bonus. I'll take it. 45%. Oh, so that's good. So if you get that up, you might be able to hit people a bit easier from longer range. I don't know if there's actually, like, a distancing on all these weapons. It hasn't really told me, but... Yeah, let's have a look at skill tree. Okay, this is a <laughs> this could get uh, very difficult to pick. I wonder how many experience you get two points a level. It seems like so that's good. Gains one action. Oh, heal target out for a hundred health. I mean that seems pretty good. I mean he's a sport character, so yeah. So they have actually different trees that can go down. Combat medic. See, so this looks like your heal. Uh, this is how does this one work? Oh, so you can reduce the cooldown of some of these skills. That's good. I was I was gonna say some of these skills seem like ridiculously long. Six turns is a seems like a very long time in this game when there's that many enemies. Three turns, uh, healing, surgeon. Okay, I'm not too sure about these titles. I don't understand why this is a combat medic. It just seems to be kind of a direct heal. Which, no, I thought it's the same for everything, but I powered shot. Surge skill, hone in. So, I think this is just kind of based on characters. So, obviously, he was classed as like a strategic mind, and he's obviously this, this is kind of his uh, healing support tree, and then this looks like his kind of damage tactical skills. Yeah, teamwork cooldown reduce. Okay. Reduce the chainsaws attacks on that side. I think I'll make them a support. That seems pretty useful. So let's just pick the heal and then command of this healing effect. Half health get double the healing. Uh, this seems pretty good. Let's just reduce the cooldown. And that's it for that. 18 a lot. Oh, so you can only have 18 things. Man. So you, you can have to be. Pretty choosy. I guess you can kind of fill in. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So yeah, you can fill in like two of these trees, I guess. Wardens. Let's see. I'm assuming these. He's a more tanky. Damage reduction, regen skill. Attack this unit. So he's got like a taunt skill on the warden. Seventy-five percent damage reduction. That's pretty good. And this is, I'm guessing this is more damage. Bayonet charge. 
Yes, this is kind of his run in. Hope to God he doesn't die. Free be in it. Defensive be in it. Rage shot. Expertise hemorrhage. Avenger. Uh, this is actually really difficult to pick. I wonder if you can actually reset. Oh, you yeah, can reset them, so. Looks like you need a special kind of currency. I guess that's that there. Hopefully you get a few of those in the game, otherwise it's going to be a bit of a difficult, you kind of stuck with what you've got, but... I mean, I'm assuming they've balanced it, so... Uh, that seems pretty good. Yeah, let's go Intimidate, so they move out of cover. It seems difficult to actually shoot people in this when they've got cover in. It seems you have to really flank them heavily. But if there's a lot of enemies, you kind of end up with that. <laughs> like, making yourself vulnerable, because they just run behind you and shoot you as well, so... So kills an enemy. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll pick this. I think I want to go down defensive anyway with this guy, to be honest. Um, yeah, I guess that's it in here. So you can have four at a time. So I wonder, I wonder if these are actually people you can change. Or if you're actually kind of forced to pick four, four gears and that's the only ones you get. It'll be interesting to see. Uh, yeah, so I think for now, we'll probably call that a video. Uh, I'm assuming it's saved. Hopefully it's saved. Doesn't see anything else about saving, so we'll assume it's saved. But yeah, I hope you enjoy this. I mean, so far I'm pretty impressed. I mean, production quality seems pretty good for a game that no one was really sure was coming out. I, th I think only like four or five weeks ago we even saw gameplay trailer as far as I'm aware. So, But it is really good to be back in the gears scene and I haven't experienced any bugs I've got a pretty good computer so maybe it is that maybe it's just optimized well for Nvidia but I mean Unreal Engine seems pretty stable across everything anyway I don't see many bugs and concern XCOMs came out and that's got quite a few bugs and game crashes in it I'm pretty impressed so far hopefully it'll stay that way so if you like this video hopefully you can like subscribe comment give your opinions if you're thinking you're going to get this game or not I know there's some mixed things in the Steam page at the moment. Basically, I think, from what I can tell, it's just because you have to sign into Xbox Live, like the Microsoft service, which is a bit strange to do it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you can see on here, I've got my gamertag up there. So, yeah, thanks very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again in the next video.